Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. And today we're going to be talking about archiving, another exciting subject, but one that's necessary yeah. because at the end of the day, you want to be able to take all of your uh, library, your media, and be able to put it on the shelf so you can then bring it back to make uh, re-edits or make your client happy, make changes, what have you. And we're really doing another episode on archiving because, uh, well, in 10.1 In-Depth, we have made a little bit of an, I don't want to say an error, it's not technically wrong, but we want to show you a better way of doing it. There's a better way. Okay, There's a better, better way. way yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and exactly. So we're talking Final Cut Pro and we're talking about archiving and in particular, um, you know, an entire, an entire library. So here's the basic idea. Here I am in Final Cut Pro 10, and I have these series of libraries, and I have this library, which is a production of this band called Bad Jones, and there's multiple events in it. Now, I'm done with this, and what I want to do is, is make a copy of it to put away on the shelf, like you say. The thing is, when you uh, want to make a copy of a library, it's, it's, it's a finder operation to actually copy a library. In other words, if I want to copy, say, if I go into an event and I want to copy a project and I select a project, I can choose to copy the project to another library or to a new library. Right, on a drive, right? another drive, what have you, an archive drive. And if I select an event, I can choose to copy the event to another library that may be an archive library or create a new library. Right. So I can, I can do that, but what if you want this entire library? If you select a library, there's no copy library command. So um, what you can do though, freely is to go to the finder. In fact, let's right click on this library and choose reveal and finder. And there's our library. Let me just get a little closer. So it's totally fine to drag this thing to another drive. But it's 57 okay? gigabytes. It's very big, yeah. So a, a, a couple things I want to mention here. Um, if your media is managed media, in other words, if it's all contained within the library, that library is a self-contained unit and you can just drag it somewhere else and you're good to you're go. Done. Yeah. If the media is external, after you drag it somewhere else, you probably want to open the library in Final Cut Pro 10 and run the consolidate command, sure. which will move all the media into that archive location. Okay. Um, However, there's a bunch of things in here that we may not need in the archive, specifically render files and uh, transcoded media. And that's the main thing I want to focus on, transcoded media. Okay, so if we go back to Final Cut, we can get rid of the render files by selecting each event and choose to uh, delete the event files. Delete. I'm sorry, not the event files, the, the, the render files. Render delete, files. delete event render files, sure. right. So if there's projects in there, it'll get rid of those render files. That'll make it sm mm -hmm. it's smaller. But a significant part of this library can be transcoded media because transcoded media, meaning optimized or proxy media, is considered managed media, so it's always stored in the library, mm -hmm. right? Even if your media is external, the transcoded media is internal. So in fact, if we go back to this guy for a minute, reveal and finder, and I open the library contents, and this is what I basically want to tell you you don't need to do. In our training, we open it a lot just to look at what's going on, but we recommend in general that you don't open it uh, or you don't mess with it, especially if you do open it. You can just look around. So if I open the, the Bad Jones library, we can see in here there's a transcoded media folder, and there's proxy media, and there's high quality media. In the 10.1 training, you had them just drag that high quality media into the trash, didn't well, you? Well, what I said was, I said it, almost everything you do in Final Cut Pro 10 in regards to media management, you never need to open the, the bundle. library. That's yeah, right. You, you never need to that. open that bundle, it, with one exception. I said the only way to get rid of that transcoded media is after you copy the library over somewhere. You need to open it, open the bundle to delete the media. But there's there's another it way. Turns out that's not true. Yeah, it turns out not true. That you can still do that, but if you really don't want to open the bundle, which in general I recommend you don't, there's a better way, and this is what it is. So what you would do is within Final Cut Pro 10, you would select all the events in the library that you want to archive. In this case, I want to archive the entire library. So select those events. I go to the file menu, and what I do is I say to copy the events to a library. I'm going to say a new library. And then what I do here is target the drive that I want to put them on. So right now, everything's on this big Vader drive. So let's say I wanted to put it somewhere else. Uh, let's go to my, uh, just here. I don't want to go to my desktop because it's such a mess. Uh, but whatever, whatever, I'll go to my desktop. Or whatever. 
Yeah, I'll go to my documents folder. I'm afraid it was about my it's folder. Okay, so I can go to my documents folder. Um, really, I would do it to some other connected drive. Uh, drive. And in fact, I think, do I have? Yeah, so I've got a whole other 2TA drive. Actually, that's where the original is on. So let's put it on this big Vader. It's actually not on there. Okay. Let's put it on there. So I'm going to call this uh, Bad Jones Archive. And here's the thing. This is cool. It, you wouldn't know that there's any other options. It looks like if you click save, that it'll it just, start doing something. Start yeah, saving it. It's just going to start copying the thing over. But, but, <laughs> but no, you click save, and you get a dialogue. And this is the beautiful thing. Okay, it's going to copy the media. Media stored in external folders will be linked to it, but not copied. So what that means is, if you have external media, you're going to want to consolidate afterwards. Sure. But here's the cool thing: is you can include, choose to include optimizer proxy media. Oh, this is huge! This is uh, yeah. great. Because so you can uncheck those, and it's only going to copy original media into the target drive. Yes. So if you uncheck these, this could be a huge amount of uh, of data. Sure. Because, for instance, uh, if you optimize red raw media, it, it makes a file about three times the size of the original. So by unchecking these, you could make your archive well under half the size of the original library. So you can you can archive more projects on, yeah. on drives. Yeah. And you don't really need this stuff because it can always be regenerated. Sure. Because you're going to have your original clips. So that's really the key of, of, the, of the whole thing there is you uncheck those, you click OK. I'm going to cancel right here. And it will copy the library sans, sans optimized media yeah. and proxy media. Yeah, sans all that transcoded media. That's so that's, that's a, a, a an addendum, a, 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 an errata a, a notes, yeah, to exactly. our to our training that there's a there's actually a better way that there really isn't ever a reason that you need to go into the bundle. Mm -hmm. uh, to do any kind of media management operation. Really, really great. I'm really glad you showed that. So there you have it. <laughs> Archiving and uh, backing up um, so that you can pull down uh, previous stuff and work with your client. You, you just need to archive your stuff. And uh, if you want more info on all things Funnel Cut Pro, rippletraining.com is the uh, location you want to point your browser to. Uh, check us out on Facebook and uh, Twitter at Ripple Training. And uh, we'll, we really appreciate you watching yet another version, <laughs> another episode of MacBreak Studio. We'll see you next time.